What's going on, people? I hope everybody is doing good. So, I wanted to hop on here real quick, man, to talk about something Candace Owens said in her video um, while speaking about the Sonya Massey case, okay? Now, within that video, Candace Owens said white people are killed by cops more than black people. That is a fact. And for those who don't remember her saying that, check out the clip. This just based on a percentage rate White Americans unarmed are more likely to be shot and killed by police officers in mistakes, shot and killed by police officers in these correspondences than black Americans. That is a fact. Now, that's something that I'm going to dive into a little bit more, because if you look online, you'll see study after study after study indicating that black people are killed by the cops more than white people. But Candace Owens just said white people are killed by the cops more than black people. She then concluded by saying that is a fact. So any person who thinks any person who's reasonable will sit back and say, well, what's going on? You know, what's going on? If white people are killed by the cops more than black people, why are all of these studies saying the opposite? And that's what Candace Owens did not address. And that's what I'm going to talk about today but before i dive into it listen we all heard what she said about sean grace and the killer cop the demonic killer cop who killed uh sonia massey okay we know that dude was a devil he was looking to kill okay he was looking to kill that dude is going to the joint okay and he's going for the rest of of his life okay now she started out the uh she started out her response by condemning him a little bit but then she got off into a defense mechanism well you know uh cops are humans and everybody makes mistakes etc and while i do believe everybody makes mistakes and cops are indeed human unless you're robocop but in this case uh i don't believe this was a mistake due to the fact that he simply told her what he was going to do. So everybody who has saw that video knows that dude was a killer and he's going to the joint, okay? We don't have to waste our time on that. We know what that was, okay? Now, in regards to her statement about white people being killed more by the cops, that's something that we need to dive into a little deeper because it can get confusing, okay? It's very confusing, all right? So... Yes, yes, in absolute numbers, more white people are killed by police than black people. That's coming from me, okay? Now, according to data from the Washington Post uh, Fatal Force Database, in 2023, around 500 white people were killed by cops compared to approximately 250 black people killed by cops, okay? Now, if you hear that, you will be like, well, more white people are killed by cops. And I believe that's what Candace Owens is referring to. But Candace Owens failed to dive a little deeper and combat every study that says black people are killed more by cops. And that's what I'm here for, man, because you all know I do research and I do it pretty well. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Here's where it gets crucial. Population size, okay? Population proportions. White people make up about 60% of the United States population, while black people make up about 13% of the U.S. population. So they say, now, black people make up more than 13% of the U.S. population, okay? But they lie and say, you know, that's where it is. So we're just going to go with 13%. Now, to put this into perspective, the U.S. has roughly about 200 million white individuals, okay? The U.S. also has about 40, 42 million black individuals, okay? Now, here's why population size matters. Understanding why population size matters is crucial in interpreting these uh, statistics, okay? Um, when discussing police violence, it's essential to consider the rate at which different racial groups are killed relative to their population size. This gives a more accurate picture of the risk each group 
faces. In this case, we're talking about black, white. Now, here's why population size is important. Imagine a town with 1,000 people where 100 are killed in a year. If 60% of the town is made up of group A and 13% is group B, but 50 out of the 100 killed are from group B, it indicates a significant issue affecting who? Group B, disproportionately. Candace? Right. See, see, I'm going to dig a little deeper for you since you didn't. All right. Since you thought it was just as simple as more white people are killed by the cops than black people, that is a fact, and, and, and you stop there. But it, it gets a little deeper than that. So you want to deceive your base, but I'm going to help your base out just a little bit. Now, let's look at the rates per capita, which gives a clearer picture of the risk faced by each group. Now, According to a 2018 study by Edwards Lee and Esposito, I believe his name was, published in the American Journal of Public Health titled Risk of Being Killed by Cops Use of Force in the United States by Age, Race, Ethnicity and Sex. Link to this, uh, uh, link to this uh, discussion will be down in the description box. Now, in that study, it indicates black individuals are killed by police at a rate of 31 per million, while white individuals are killed by police at a rate of 13 per million. This means, Candace Owens, that black people are more than twice as likely to be killed by the cops compared to white people when considering their respective population sizes. You see, Candace Owens didn't go this deep, but I'm, I'm going for you. OK, now. Context matters. Let's also consider the context of these killings, okay? Now, the same study by Edwards Lee and Esposito found that black folks are more likely to be unarmed compared to white individuals when killed by cops, okay? This points to the systemic issues and how different racial groups are perceived and treated by law enforcement, okay? Also systemic biases, okay? Research published in a 2019 study uh, in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Uh, this study will be down in the description box. It was by Frank Edwards and Hedwig Lee and Michael Esposito. Again, it shows that black men and women, boys and girls, have a higher lifetime risk of being killed by police compared to their white counterparts. This systemic bias reflects a broader issue in law enforcement practices okay and the criminal justice system well the, the the criminal injustice system all right now in conclusion in conclusion while the raw numbers show that more white people are being killed by cops the per capita race reveal a stark disparity black people face a significantly higher risk of being killed by cops highlighting the deep-seated systemic issues that need to be addressed, right? Understanding these disparities is essential to uh, driving meaningful cop reform, police reform, and all of that, okay? So, so Candace Owens did not dive that deep. She sent her base off thinking that more white people are killed by the cops than black people. She did not discuss population size, etc., because... It can be confusing to somebody who looks online and they see all of these studies saying black people are killed more by the cops than white people. Black people are disproportionately killed by the cops than white people. And then Candace Owens says, well, white people are killed more. Any reasonable person to sit back and say, well, what's going on? Why? You know, I'm confused. So she should have dug a little bit deeper than that. All right. But I just gave you all the facts. So. Take that how you want to take it, you know, take the numbers and run with it. Uh, each each study will be down in the description box for you all to click on and check it out yourself. You can believe it, not believe it. That's on you. You know, I'm just putting what's out there, you know, so people can know. Now, RIP to white people, black people, Asian people, 
anybody who has been wrongly killed by the cops. Rest in peace. I'm not down, downplaying anyone's death. These people had families. People cried for them. People loved them. People were hurt by the, uh, their deaths, etc. So I'm not going to downplay anybody's death when it comes to police killings, okay? That's not what I'm doing. What I am doing is putting out the studies to show what Candace Owens did not address. So now people can have some better clarity as to why the studies say black people are killed more by the cops than white people. And oh, 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 before I go, I have to come back and remind you all, Joshua 1 and 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Till next time. Peace.